Hey guys, Alan Morley with another fragrance review. We've got two fragrances for you guys today. Two cracking fragrances that I've bought recently and then based on BR540 and this their houses interpretations of that fragrance. So if you're interested in this, it's a battle between the two and I'll let you know which ones I prefer out of the two fragrances I've bought. Okay guys, see you in a minute. guys welcome back thanks for coming back i hope you're all well out there uh, on today guys we'll be showing you these two fragrances we'll be doing a battle head to head mansara instant crush show you a bit close to the camera there it's all authentic look and then you've got this new really, uh, collection to my, my collection is the afnan, uh, afnan supremacy oud from both fragrances, from both different companies, based on BR540. Okay, so I haven't got the BR540 because it's set my price range. And I'm quite happy with these two that I've got if this is what it smells like. So I'm going to give you a comparison here to these two, which I prefer though. So I can tell you about these two because they are on both of them now. Okay, so first of all, before we carry on, uh, please like and subscribe to this video. That'd be fantastic, I'd appreciate that. Uh, this one came at first, 2019, the Manzera. And this one comes with the magnetic top of guys. It used to be the screw on top, but now it's a magnetic one. And then you show the spray, this fragrance. Yeah, straight away you can smell that. It's got a lovely vanilla note in this. It's got like a nice vanilla note that we open up with. He's filling the bedroom and now he's got the other notes amalgamating with it and it's, you know, started settling in the atmosphere so I could feel it couldn't pass me now. So it's quite pungent. It's got a nice pungent smell about it. But this is the most expensive fragrance that I've bought today. So it cost me nearly £100 if we had on posters and packaging in the UK. So I've had this on for quite a bit and it does last. It projects like quite like a beast at first when you put it on for the first couple of hours and it'll last you a good eight hours on my skin so this is a really good fragrance so we might say to do some beast mild fragrances anyway they're most their fragrances have got longevity and stuff like that but i do like this it is a nice fragrance and i'll give you some of the note break there and both the fragrances side by side in a minute guys and it'll give you an idea what the both smell like side by side compared to the BR540 I went on fragrant again before I filmed this get all the out for about all three fragrances so I can give you this you now breakdown and this one I had this last week this came kind of fantastic presentation box for the price you paid for it you know this cost me 40, 43 quid in the UK and that came as when you see the box it comes in spectacular second to none for the price you paid for it I've really gone out of the board with it and it's well worth it, you know. But what does the fragrance smell like? So I'll carry a nice box. Would it smell any good? Yeah, it does. It does. It has got that smell, but it does straight away remind me of that fragrance. You got this one now, smelling very much the like this one, but subtle differences. Straight away, you can smell it in the atmosphere compared to this one. This has got more of a vanilla opening. This hasn't. You know, this is more vanilla, and this has got more of the different notes in this. I'll show you in a minute, you can tell when you spray it on in the air. It's coming past me now, isn't it? I can smell it, it's starting to settle down. Right, this is a bit more pungent than the what's it? The answer you've got a sweeter on it. This hasn't, it's a bit more of a pungent, darker smell than the actual a bright opening from the vanilla from the the Mansara one this one is a, straight away it's a bit more of a darker scent you know in the opening and so let me just give you some notes on this one I've written down here guys just to compare the two right so in the Mansara in the top you've got saffron and ginger now I can smell the 
because you got later on they're doing down here in the base you've got the vanilla but i'll get that straight away it tells you you've got saffron ginger mandarin and bergamot now you put all them together in the the opening right let me just see if we can pick that out or not because it, it all see the vanilla seeds come through more to make them most other apps yeah there's a, there's a bit more of a brighter opening I still get smell the, the vanilla though. More, but then again, I'm not the greatest person in the world of knowledge for things like saffron mixing with ginger. That could be the outing that I'm smelling as well. But I can definitely pick out the vanilla. It's got a brighter outing this one. Has. And then you've got this one. Now this one opens up with saffron again. It's got nutmeg and lavender in there. Can you see it's the difference in between the two openings? Right? And it it does come across a darker scent in the opening, but I like that as well. Because it, it does make it it'd be boring for me if both of these smelled exactly the same. And luckily for me they don't. They do smell slightly different, so it gives you two different fragrances, heading in the same direction with just a different way of doing it. So to me. I've got two fragrances uh, now that smell of BR540 in their own right and it's heading in the same direction. So, if these fragrances go through to the mid, right? On the Mansell, you've got Amberwood, Rose, Jasmine, and Patchouli. And in the Afnan Supremacy in Uwood, you've got Agarwood, or Uwood, uh, Sweet Notes, and that's it. Now the sweet notes, you've got a picture on Fragrant if you want to check it out, these tiny little sweets. So it's, it's going to get the sweet notes from that. And then if you go into the base, in the man said that you've got the vanilla, vanilla down there, musk, sandalwood and oak moss. This is where it makes the fragrance acceptable to men and women because oak moss in there and the sandalwood, you know, and even the oud in it. The, the amber, amber wood, sorry, that'd make it a bit more masculine. So it's not all together. And even the, the ginger and the shit, they can make it, it can be used in men's fragrances or women's fragrances. So you can understand where they're going with this. It is unisex because both fragrances, it, it's appealing for many women on, that both the fragrances are on this list there. So in the Afnan, you've got the oud and the sweet notes in the, the mid. And as you go through to the base, you've got patchouli and musk. Now, there's only two notes in the... In the now, I couldn't... It's a bit of the audience, not got down to the, the the base notes yet. It's still settling down. But, like, it's in there. And I should imagine, if you was a bit more of an expert than I am trying to pick out individual notes, you could probably tell it's just going to the, to the, into the dry down. Uh, but at the moment... When I put this on first thing, I struggle to pick individual notes out, if I was to be honest. I know, although it's in there because I've read it, but the old experience of wearing that fragrance, I've wore both of them now, and it does, both fragrances last a long time on your skin. And to me, the, now should I smell the Afnan, because I had the Mansara first in my collection. Now should I spray it, I thought straight away, Mansara Instant Crush. I haven't seen other videos in, you know, in spawners to lean that way. That's what I smell straight away. And that's what I licked the fragrance I've got over in my cabinet at the time. So that's what I've got. Two fragrances that smell very similar. And I thought, have I done the right thing here by buying two for it? It won't be redundant or not. But now I've smelled them side by side. There are differences. The Mansara is a sweeter opening fragrance than the... Afnan, the Afnan to me is a bit more darker than the actual, the Mansara fragrance, they both open up, but it's still very nice, this is, I, 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 I still do like this fragrance, I put this on the other day, for the first time, it's like a beast when you spray this on, it's got the not only intense, the other one, the Aventus one, I've got that as well at the same time, both fragrances project like a monster, when you put this on, and it, it is really good in that sense. And the longevity is really good on it as well. So I've got two cracking phrases now. Good longevity, good projection. And in the same direction. Now, just for the curiosity, I don't want to pay the kind of price I'm asking for, for BR540 for a 70 mil. 
finished the DED plea, they want to get researched. Before I came here, I just chose the, the first one I come to. There's the extract, the powerful one, if you want to get down that route. But I'll just grab the, you know, notes of fragmentic off the first one I come to, and here's the EDP. And it's self reducing in the UK. They're selling this fragrance for 70 mil for 215 pounds. And at the top, it's got saffron and jasmine, just two notes. In the mid, it's got amber wood and amber grease. Now, that I didn't know what that was. I'll research that before I come on here. And it's the, it from the digestive system from the sperm whale. And this stuff comes out in early, it forms this like, object that comes out of its stomach. And in the Far East, they use it for medicine and poison. In the West, they use it in fine perfumery. You know, so that's where this ambergris comes from. And it's actually come from uh, in the inside of a sperm whale. You think, what the hell have I put that in a bloody fragrance for? But apparently, it works. I mean, I always question why they put suet and things like that, if it smells like cat wee and things like that. And, you know, Kiros' got it in there. And my old man says to me, I can smell wee on you. What are you wearing a phrase for me? I like wee for. You know, and he was that when he said to me, I thought, well, you got a point, really. Why do we keep accepting these fragrances where they smell like, you know, civet or like, uh, you know, these like now uh, uh, musky now that smell like a bloody like an animal just to smell more masculine, you know? And there's other ways they do, not the outlaws and different stuff like that. So I do question myself sometimes, you know. But ambergris is in BR five forty, you know. It sells like hotcakes. I spoke to a, a friend of mine who used to work in a perfume shop and it's people from the far east get mad for that BR540 and buying it every time they come out of it you know one or two but other it's quite expensive they just pay for it you know and there's so much about that ambergris that they like uh, but me I've got these now and luckily for me they haven't got it in there but they've got other mouths that make it smell very similar and that'll do for me you know what I mean so I'm quite happy with these two I've got now but that's it for this video guys, thanks for sticking with me, right? I'm going to do another video over the weekend and it'll be another comparison on uh, Sidrat Brose from Mansera and not only Intense again by Afnan because it's like two versions of a Creed event just like uh, Backlot. So we'll do that one next time. Now you are, I did say at the start, if I had to choose one, which one do I prefer? And it's this one, just for the opening. I do like sweet fragrance and this is much sweeter than this. Don't get me wrong, I do like this. This is a very good fragrance. I will use this, you know, and I'll have a smile in my face when I do it. But this one just gives it extra bit of class when you wear this. This has got that smooth opening, that opening more so than this one has. And that's why I prefer this one over that one. But if, if I say to you guys now, if you both buy both of these fragrances, they both serve you well. One will go a bit of a darker route, one will go a bit of a brighter route, but you'll get to the same destination in the end it'd be something like br 540 so that's it guys thanks for sticking with me again i'll see you on the next video all the best have a nice weekend